This is the Samsung Smart PVR or the Samsung BD-DT7800. It's Samsung's first standalone Freeview HD box and it has two HD Freeview tuners. So you'll be able to record two programs at once or record one whilst watching the other or so on. Now it's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive so you can store lots of content recorded from the telly. Uh, it's also got a USB port so you can play back content from there and it supports Samsung's all share feature. So that's a DLNA feature that allows you to play content saved on other devices through this box onto your telly. So that might be a smartphone or a laptop and so on. Now it's easy to set up and the EPG is very clean and easy to read. As you can see, there's a nice picture in picture of the channel that's playing. Uh, it's also very easy to record, uh, either recording live or schedule to record something that's coming up later. The menu system is easy to work your way around. And as you can see here, there's the BDYs setting. Now what that is, is a method for the box to communicate with the telly so that all the settings are optimized. And there are also channel locks so you can control what your children are watching. And there's the energy saving mode, which we'll take a look at more when we get it into our labs. Now on the remote control, you can see you've got access to the Smart Hub just here. So that Smart Hub allows you to access a lot of content uh, over the internet through your telly. Now you've also got access to Samsung apps so you can download more apps to your box, such as things like Love Film or Ace Tracks, which is a pay-as-you-go way to access films. Uh, there could also be Netflix coming in the new year when that launches in the UK. Now another nice app that's available is Muzu TV where you can access all sorts of music video content. Now you're able to set up different accounts within the Smart Hub. So you'll be able to log in as yourself or your family members can also log in and then you can get your personal profile. So that might be different applications but also it will start to learn what sort of films you like and it can make recommendations. And those recommendations will be surfaced in the Your Video section. So you can look through that and uh, find latest releases as well as those recommended to you. And you can search by director or by genre or by actor. And when you click on the watch tab, it will then show you where and how much it will cost to access that content. Also on the remote control is this search button and that won't only just search the content that's stored on here, but it will also search uh, network enabled devices that are connected to the same networks. That could be your mobile phone or your laptop, for example. One other button worth pointing out on this remote control is the 2D to 3D button that converts a 2D picture into a 3D picture and you can adjust the depth as well with that. Now, if you don't want to use this remote control, you can also download an application to your smartphone. It's available on Android or on the iOS and uh, you can control many of the features of the TV with the touch screen on your phone. So that's the Samsung Smart PVR with Freeview. Now we'll be testing this model in our lab soon, but in the meantime, if you want more information on this product or for full lab-based reviews of other PVRs and set-top boxes, then go to our website at witch.co.uk.